Imagine a treatment that doesn't just like cover up signs of aging, but actually, you know, like helps your skin repair itself at like mm -hmm. a cellular level. Wow. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. And get this, it's made from something you'd never guess. Salmon milt DNA. Yeah, no, it's pretty wild. We've got a ton of research on PDR and we're going to break it all down. I, how it works, what the science says, the whole nine yards. So you can decide if it lives up to the hype. It's definitely got a unique backstory, that's for sure. Salmon milt DNA, not your everyday skincare ingredient, but what's really got dermatologists excited is the potential. It's not just about those superficial imperfections, you know, it's about real rejuvenation from within. Okay, so before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's back up for a sec. What exactly is PDRN? And how does something from, you know, salmon milt end up in our skincare routines? So PDRN stands for polydeoxyribonucleotide. It's basically like a building block of DNA. Mm. And the reason they get it from salmon milt is actually pretty fascinating. Turns out the DNA structure in salmon milt is remarkably similar to our own. Oh, interesting. So it's kind of like speaking the same language as our cells. Exactly. That's a great way to put it. This similarity is what allows PDRN to interact with our skin cells so naturally. It's biocompatible. You know, the, think of it like a signal that kicks off all these good things, like boosting collagen production. Okay, hold on. Collagen. We hear that word all the time in skincare. Can you remind us why is collagen so important and how does PDRN actually like increase it. Sure. So collagen, think of it like the scaffolding of your skin. It gives it structure, firmness, all that good stuff. But as we age, we naturally produce less and less. And that's when you start seeing those fine lines, wrinkles, the sagging. Mm, but yeah. PDRN, what it does is it gives those collagen producing cells, the fibroblasts, a little wake up call. So it's not like adding collagen from the outside. It's more like signaling our skin to make more of its own. You got it. That's what makes PDRN different. It's not a quick fix. It's about stimulating your skin's natural ability to regenerate. Fascinating. So it's like more than just a collagen booster. Oh, absolutely. PDRN wears many hats. One study I read super interesting looked at wound healing in diabetic patients. Hmm? They found PDRN significantly sped up the healing process and even reduced the size of ulcers compared to the control group. Wow, that's amazing. So we're talking about something that could have like major implications in medicine too not just aesthetics precisely and those wound healing properties they apply to skin care as well like think about acne scars or even minimizing downtime and scarring after procedures like laser treatments right right so it's really about overall skin health and resilience not just wrinkles exactly and there's growing evidence it has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects too which adds to its protective and restorative powers. Okay, this is all sounding really good, but I bet you're wondering, like our listeners probably are, does it actually live up to the hype? Like, what are people actually seeing in terms of results? Well, this is where things get really exciting. There was this study that gave people a series of PDRN injections over a few weeks, and the results were pretty remarkable. They saw a significant improvement in skin elasticity, fine lines were less noticeable, even their skin tone looked more even and radiant. Wow, a total transformation. I'm curious though, does it work for everyone? Like different skin types, different concerns? That's a great question. Most of the research we've seen focuses on anti-aging, but some studies are starting to look at PDRN's benefits for specific skin types and issues. There's one about its effectiveness in treating melasma, for example which is a pigmentation disorder. So it's not just a one-size-fits-all solution. There's nuance to it. Absolutely. And that's why people are getting so interested in personalized PDRN treatments. Tailoring the approach based on individual needs and goals, definitely something to watch in the coming years. Personalized PDRN treatments, huh? Now that's a deep dive I'd love to take in the future. Oh yeah, for sure. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's talk about how it's actually done. I, I bet our listeners are curious about what a treatment actually involves. Okay, so how do you actually get salmon milk DNA into your skin? Is it some crazy high-tech process? Well, it's not as sci-fi as it sounds. The most common way is through micro-injections, like similar to other injectables. So no rubbing salmon milt on our faces. Uh-huh. <laughs> Definitely not. And don't worry, the injections are usually well tolerated. Not much discomfort at all. That's good to hear. But I imagine like with any injectable, there are things to consider, potential side effects. For sure. And we'll get into all the safety details and who might be a good candidate in the next part of our deep dive. Okay. Sounds good. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. Before the break, we were talking about PDRN, all the amazing things it can do, boosting collagen, healing wounds, tackling pigmentation. But let's be real, is it all sunshine and roses? Are there any downsides we need to know about? Yeah, that's a super important question. 
You always want to be cautious with any new treatment, especially injectables. But the good news is, PDRN has a really strong safety profile, mm. especially when it's done by a qualified professional. Okay, good to hear. But what about those like what if scenarios? Any red flags or times when someone might not be a good candidate for PDRN? Definitely. Like we mentioned earlier, PDRN comes from salmon milk DNA. So obviously anyone with a fish allergy should avoid it. Yeah, that makes sense. Any other contraindications? Pregnant or breastfeeding women, generally they'd be advised to avoid it too. And anyone with an active skin infection or certain autoimmune conditions, they should definitely talk to their dermatologist first. So it's not completely risk-free, but it sounds like most of the potential issues are things a dermatologist would catch during a consultation. Exactly. That's why that initial assessment is so important. They can look at your medical history, your skin type, and see if PDRN is a good fit. Right, right. Speaking of dermatologists, what's the buzz like in the medical community? Are they all on board with PDRN or is there still some hesitation? It's definitely gaining traction. A lot of dermatologists are really excited about it, especially as more research comes out. But like with any new treatment, there's a period of like observation. You know, so it's not like everyone's jumping on the bandwagon overnight, more of a gradual thing as the evidence builds up. Exactly. And that's actually a good thing. It means they're approaching it carefully, not just accepting it at face value. They want solid evidence, long-term studies. Makes sense. It's good to have that balance, the enthusiasm, but also the scientific scrutiny. Absolutely. That's something we try to do here on the deep dive. You know, yeah. we're not here to hype things up. We want to give our listeners a balanced perspective. Definitely. So speaking of evidence, are there any studies or case studies that really stand out to you? Oh, there's one that I found really interesting. I looked at PDRN for treating androgenetic alopecia, male pattern baldness. They found that when they injected PDRN into the scalp, it actually stimulated hair regrowth and improved hair density. Wow. So it's not just for our faces. We're talking hair loss, too. Yep. And that's just one example. They're looking at PDRN for all sorts of things now. Stretch marks, scars, even chronic wounds. This is sounding like a real multi-purpose wonder treatment. But with all this excitement, are there any limitations, anything we should be aware of? Of course. I mean, as promising as the research is, it's important to remember PDRN is not a miracle cure. It's not going to erase years of sun damage overnight or completely reverse aging. Right. It's about managing expectations. Exactly. Understanding what it can realistically do and not falling for those like over the top claims you see sometimes. Yeah, definitely. It's about making informed decisions, knowing the benefits and the limitations. Absolutely. And that's where working with a dermatologist is so key. They can help you figure out if it's right for you, set realistic expectations and create a treatment plan that makes sense for your goals. That individualized approach is so important. Now, another thing to keep in mind, PDRN is still a relatively new treatment. So while the initial research is very encouraging, there are still long-term studies going on. So some unknowns still. Yeah, we're still learning about those long-term effects, how yeah. it interacts with different skin types, medications, other treatments. So it's important to stay informed as new research comes out. Exactly. That's part of what makes this field so exciting. It's constantly changing new discoveries all the time. It's a good reminder that science is a process, not a destination. Exactly. Speaking of ongoing processes, let's talk about what a typical PDRN treatment actually looks like. Okay, so let's say someone's heard all this, they're intrigued, they've talked to their dermatologist, and they're ready to try PDRN. What can they expect? Well, like we mentioned before, it's usually done through a series of micro-injections. The number of treatments you need depends on your individual needs and goals. So no one-size-fits-all approach? Nope, not at all. Some people might see a difference after just one or two sessions. Others might need four to six treatments spaced out over a few weeks. And I imagine the dermatologist would help determine that, like how often you need the treatments based on your skin and what you're trying to achieve. Exactly. It's all about creating a personalized plan that makes sense for you. Okay, that makes sense. Are there any specific things people should do before or after a treatment mm -hmm. to like maximize the results or minimize any side effects? That's a great question. And we're going to dive into all those practical tips and considerations in the next part of our deep dive. All right, looking forward to it. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the deep dive. Before the break, we were getting into the details of PDRN treatments. You know, those micro injections that deliver this salmon derived goodness. But what about the prep and aftercare? Is there anything you can do to like boost those benefits or minimize any discomfort? Absolutely. Like any aesthetic procedure. Taking a few extra steps can definitely make a difference. Enhance the results, make the whole experience smoother. Okay, so let's start with pretreatment. 
Are there any lifestyle changes or things people should do in the days leading up to a PDRN session? Yeah, for sure. The big one is avoiding blood thinning medications like aspirin or ibuprofen for at least a week before your appointment. Mm -hmm. Unless your doctor says otherwise, of course. Mm. This will help minimize bruising. That makes sense. Anything else? Well, staying hydrated is always a good idea, especially for skin health. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water in those days leading up to the treatment. So it's not just what we put on our skin, but what we put in our bodies, too. Exactly. And this might seem obvious, but it's worth mentioning. Come to your appointment with clean skin, no makeup or heavy lotions. It just helps create a more sterile and effective treatment environment. Right. Makes sense. It's all about setting the stage for those micro-injections to do their thing. So what about after the treatment? What can people expect immediately afterward? Any specific aftercare instructions? So right after the injections, you might have some mild redness, maybe some swelling. You might even see a few tiny bruises, just pinpoint ones. But don't worry, that's totally normal. It usually goes away within a few hours or a day or two at most. So it's not like you walk out looking totally different. No, not at all. Most people can go back to their normal activities right away. You might want to avoid strenuous exercise or anything that makes you sweat a lot for the first 24 hours, though. Okay, good to know. Anything else for post-treatment care? Keeping the treated area clean and using a cool compress can help with any redness or swelling. And as always, sun protection is key. Make sure you're wearing sunscreen every day, even if it's cloudy. Right, right. Treat your skin gently after the procedure. So how long does it usually take to see results from PDRN treatments? That's a good question. It really varies, depends on the person, what they're trying to address. But a lot of people start seeing subtle changes within a couple of weeks. So no instant gratification. Not quite. Yeah. Uh -huh. Remember, PDRN is working with your skin's natural processes. And those things take time. The full effects usually take a few weeks, maybe even months to fully develop. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Exactly. And those results, they tend to get better with each treatment. It's a cumulative effect. Like building a foundation for healthier skin. Mm. So, as we wrap up our deep dive into PDRN, I want to zoom out a bit. How does PDRN fit into the bigger picture of skincare? Is it just a trend or is it here to stay? That's a great question. I think it's safe to say PDRN is more than just a fad. It represents a real shift in how we think about skincare, moving away from just covering things up and towards actually helping our skin heal and regenerate itself. Working with our bodies, not against them. Exactly. And we're seeing that trend across the whole wellness space. This move towards more holistic, preventative approaches. So PDRN is riding that wave, you think? Mm. Tapping into this desire for treatments that get to the root of the problem. Absolutely. That's why I think PDRN has real staying power. As more research comes out, as more people see those amazing results, I think it's only going to get more popular. It's pretty cool to be seeing this all unfold, all these new possibilities. But with any new technology, especially in aesthetics, we have to talk about the ethical side of things. Oh, for sure. That's a really important point. As PDRN becomes more available, we need to make sure it's used responsibly, focusing on healthy aging, enhancing natural beauty, not about pushing unrealistic beauty standards or this idea that we can stay young forever. Right. It's about helping people feel good in their own skin, no matter their age. Exactly. And that takes open communication between patients and their dermatologists, setting realistic goals, focusing on what's achievable. It all comes back to making informed decisions, understanding the benefits and the risks. And that's why education is so important. There's so much information out there, it can be overwhelming. That's what we're trying to do with the deep dive. Provide evidence-based information, different perspectives, help people make choices that are right for them. We're not here to tell anyone what to do, just to give them the information they need to make their own decisions. Exactly. So with that in mind, let's recap. What are the key takeaways from our deep dive into PDRN? Well, that, let's do it. First of all, PDRN is the real deal. It's not just hype. There's solid science behind it. Tons of studies showing it really works. Improving hydration, elasticity, texture, tone, all that good stuff. It's not just smoke and mirrors? Nope. Second, PDRN works with your skin. It stimulates those natural healing and regeneration processes. It's about helping your skin revitalize itself from the inside out. Giving your skin what it needs to thrive. Exactly. <laughs> Third, and this is super important, talk to a qualified dermatologist. They can help you figure out if PDRN is right for you and make sure it's done safely and effectively. That personalized approach is key. Couldn't agree more. Fourth, remember, PDRN is not a miracle cure. It's not gonna erase everything overnight, but it can make a real difference in your skin health and resilience, help you look and feel your best.
It's about aging gracefully, but proactively. Exactly. And lastly, the world of skincare is always evolving. There are always new things being discovered, new possibilities. PDRN is just one example of that. So stay curious, keep learning, keep exploring. Absolutely. Well, I think that about covers it for our deep dive into PDRN. Yeah, it's been a great conversation. We've covered a lot of ground. The science, the benefits, the risks, the ethical considerations. Hopefully our listeners feel more informed now. Yeah, empowered to make their own decisions about PDRN. We've given you the information. Now it's up to you to decide if PDRN is right for your skincare journey. And remember, this is just the beginning. Keep learning, keep asking questions, and most importantly, take good care of your skin. Until next time, stay curious.